of results, revenue at 3.17 billion euros, up 4.2 percent year over year. Reporting third quarter sales of 4.8 percent. Franklin Golf Romeo. And Fed policy will be driven by the pace of the data. Same policy will remain accommodated. Futures off. Concessions low, still down about a percent on the day for a little more than four pennies. Mike, it's a great pleasure to have you here. Uh, thank you so much for hosting us. It's even a bigger pleasure to uh, have you as a new partner. Um, we're very excited to, to have you and uh, to be able to expand uh, the prop trading business uh, all over the world, and especially to bring it such a big market as Brazil. Um, to be able to answer some, uh, some questions that we have uh, for our customers in Brazil, for, for all the traders uh, that are willing to know, um, what is prop trading firm? What, what, what do you consider uh, to be a proprietary trading firm. Uh, they're so big and successful all over the world and it's such a big industry here in the United States. So proprietary trading means the firm provides capital, the firm provides technology, the firm takes on all downside risk. Traders come in and use firm capital, technology, infrastructure to trade and the trader and the firm split their profits. The important thing for a proprietary trading firm to do is to add value. As I said, we're splitting profits with traders, but we're not in the business of marking up traders on commissions. We're not in the business of making money in any other way except traders making money and us splitting those profits. So we don't get paid. This firm is not successful in any way, and all this infrastructure is incredibly expensive. We don't get paid unless we're making money on top of all of that infrastructure after splitting profits and after deducting all of the losses on people that don't make it or aren't having good months. So we see ourselves with traders as aligned. If, we're n if they're not doing well, then we're not doing well we're taking on all the risk and we're providing an environment and an infrastructure where they can be their best traders. And we have a tremendous amount of incentive to spend as many hours during the day thinking and building ways for them to make more money, whether that's offering the ability to model, team trading, education, technology, uh, sometimes just a pat on the shoulder, pat on the back. We just made a huge chop in one of the imbalances that resulted from uh, me pushing some guys to really load up in this one particular trade and the guys on the desk sharing those ideas. You take them out of this environment without that access to buying power, people sharing those ideas, a little bit of coaching and pushing them in the right direction and they probably don't make as much money. You take those traders off of our floor and we don't, we don't make as much money. So that's proprietary trading to me.